Hi everybody, Phil Burgess here again. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I really hope you're enjoying some of the content that's on the For You channel at the moment. Um, if you are, please do recommend us to your friends and family. Um, we'd love to be able to offer our advice, support, um, and, and generally just help out where we can. Um, and along with that, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please do comment on the videos. Um, we'd love to have your feedback um, just so that we can make the videos and make the content uh, applicable to what you guys want. Um, and, and we'd love to help you out as much as possible. Um, so last time I think I spoke about Corona top tips um, and just sort of dealing with change and stuff like that and how my sporting experience um, had helped me in those situations. Um, and this week we're going to be talking briefly about teams. Um, so firstly we're just going to start off with a few thank yous to some fantastic and amazing teams that are uh, that are working really really hard at the moment firstly um, the NHS um, doing an absolutely sterling job um, you know that like you're working your socks off we really appreciate it and um, thank you so so much and um, combined with that the key workers everybody that's out there um, you know even if it's from from bin men to supermarkets shelf stackers everything we really 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 do appreciate it um, and that's coming from myself and I'm part of one of the massive massive teams and that's the stay at home team um, rumor has it that, that might be changing shortly um, but but at the moment the stay at home team you're doing a great job as well um, keep at it we're all working together we're all striving towards that same goal um, it may not be the most enjoyable at times and it may be quite difficult um, but if we work together um, and, and we can get through it and we'll come through on the other side so yeah so teams um, a little bit about teams firstly me, myself and I, you might think that's a bit of a strange thing to, to bring up when talking about teams. Um, but, but really, um, teams are made up of individuals, whether it's one person joining with another and making two, or whether it be 50 people, or whether it be a thousand people, or whatever it is. Um, the, the, one of the most important things within a team is that it's a group of individuals and understanding that as an individual um, no one's perfect as much as you'd like to think as much as you'd like to believe that you're perfect um, no one is perfect and, and and I know that about myself um, you know I can say it candidly about my wife I know that she's not perfect and I know that Bertie my little boy is definitely not perfect um, but we're all striving to be better um, we have the opportunity to grow we have the opportunity to pick up on traits from other people and stuff like that that will make us better um, and and so there's that opportunity so I have this slide me myself and I um, and that's an important one to remember yourself understand what you bring to the table understand um, what your good points are understand areas that you can work on um, and also when you are fortunate enough to be involved in teams um, take on board that other individuals are there they have you know, different things on their mind and if there's bits and pieces that you like from them please do try and adjust what you're doing um, and take that forward into your, into your teams and into your own um, into your own persona um, okay so moving on swiftly my teams just a real brief recap of some of the teams that I've been in I've been very fortunate enough to have probably around I don't know, maybe about 500 teammates um, over my sort of professional and, and rugby career and sporting and, and stuff like that. Um, so I competed at the Rio Olympics as part of the GB7 squad um, and we, uh, we won ourselves a silver medal there, which was great. Um, I've also been part of uh, Team England that competed at the Commonwealth Games. I competed at the Commonwealth Games twice and I medaled once, um, which is a bronze medal um, in the Gold Coast, which is 2018. Um, along with that, with the England Sevens team, we also uh, got a World Series silver, so we finished second overall on the World Series, which was which was again pretty awesome. Um, and then in my uh, career before Sevens, I played Fifteens at the Cornish Pirates, um, and in my two out of three years we were there, we got to the Championship final twice. Um, we silvered twice there as well. And I know you might be thinking, oh, okay, well, um, yeah, that's a lot of silver medals and, and bronzes and stuff like that, and, and no gold, but I think the experience that that we've had as those teams um, and obviously coming away with any silverware was great but the experience um, and and just being out there with with the, the team that I had was was pretty awesome and and I'm very fortunate to to have been in those teams um, and you know I'm I'm not the person I am today without those guys and girls um, and and I do really appreciate them um, which brings me nicely on to the next point which is 
why our team so important and under there I don't know if you can see that my teammates um, and so so yeah so why are teams so important and this is this is my opinion this is why I think teams are so important um, it gives people, individuals, it gives me the opportunity um, to see things in a different light. So it gives me an opportunity to, to have different perspective on certain things, um, which can be anything, um, whether it be the way that you see the world, whether it be you see a situation, whatever it is, perspective is massively important. Um, along with that, there are a few other things I'll just sort of run through and then we'll come back to a key point that I'd love to come back to later. Um, so we have perspective. Laughter, um, you know, I've been very fortunate to have some very funny teammates, not specifically myself, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not the funniest of guys, I'm quite a serious chap, not all the time, but sometimes, uh, and so I've been very fortunate to have some very funny guys in my, in my teams, which is great. Um, also, a few other bits, challenge, um, being able to challenge each other, um, you know, and, and, and believe that you might have the right decision, but also question you know in the same way and, and that is why teams are so important because somebody doesn't have the right idea every single time um, and, and it's that collaborative ideas that can, can help you get to the end goal um, you know quicker and hopefully more effectively or even you know enjoy that journey through together a couple of others positivity and negativity um, I, I enjoy being positive, I, I like that, um, but then I also enjoy some of the guys that bring a little bit of negativity because in the same way for me that, that allows me to see a different perspective, I enjoy that. Um, sometimes it makes me laugh and I, and, and I enjoy that too. Um, and also combined with that it's a good vent, it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing that brings us together. Which is the final point about connection and support. Um, uh, some people say that they can rely on their teammates for certain certain stuff, and and I would completely agree with that. Um, when you're in uh, when you're in a team, it gives you the opportunity, and I say gives you the opportunity because not every team is like this. It gives you the opportunity to rely um, on your teammates, and you can really connect and support each other. Um, and that that's something um, very important at the moment. Um, and so we move on to the next bit, COVID-19 team. So we're talking about connection and support um, and, and also the fact that some of these teams that are happening at the moment are new teams um, and they're new situations. Um, within my rugby environment, um, we always had that common goal of going out there on the rugby field and winning, whether it be training um, or, or even competing or anything like that. We always knew we were going out there with a purpose, with a goal. Um, and so we could uh, combine behind that um, and, and go forward as a team and, and sort of unite behind that, that drive. Um, something for, for, for this situation at the moment, you know, COVID-19, it's put us in a, a position where some of the teams that are coming together are new teams, whether it be NHS, um, whether it be people working from home um, and working virtually with their team rather than in the office, um, and even home teams, which can be your family, your friends, people that you're living with permanently 24-7, um, uh, or maybe not 24-7, 23-7, or whatever it may be. Um, and, and it's just that uh, different environment that we find ourselves in now um, because of corona. Um, and so there's those other aspects which we've had about perspective, laughter, challenge, positivity and negativity. Um, but something really important at the moment for us um, can be that connection and support that we can offer each other. Um, and during these difficult times, um, we, we all experience different things. So I can only talk from my own experience um, and I'm just going to talk to you briefly about my home team. So my home team um, is made up of four, well, three people and one dog. Um, there's myself, uh, my wife, my little boy Bertie, who's 19 months old, and our little French bulldog called Cece. Um, and we, Fran and I, have been married for the last five years, um, and obviously we, we really enjoy each other's company, um, and Bertie's been with us for the last couple of years, and, and, and we've loved that. But this experience at the moment, um, has changed our team and changed our team dynamic. Um, and what I mean by that is we've really had to um, connect um, and actually really support each other through this difficult time. Um, and I think something to remember with that is that at this time it's okay to not be okay. Um, and, and my wife and I have had um, quite a few discussions around our relationship, um, 
and how we can best help each other out at these times. These are uncertain times and being with someone continually for you know hours on end and, and even having a, a little child that is sometimes screaming at you, majority of the time he's laughing and enjoying himself, um, it can be very, very difficult. Um, and something that um, my wife and I, Francesca, have really worked hard on is um, communicating with each other. Um, and it's something that from my rugby days is something that I was very fortunate to, to have. Um, we, we were very well connected and we supported each other very well. We used to speak often before tournaments and games and, and just generally when we're having a catch up or a coffee about how things were going, um, what we were worried about, uh, what was stressing us out, what was getting to us a little bit. Um, and that connection allowed us to understand each other um, and sometimes it allowed us to support each other when we needed um, and it allowed us to sometimes give each other space as well when we needed it um, and and the amount of times that someone has said something at just the opportune moment it's made you think actually um, you know I really do appreciate you coming to have a chat about something or or whether it is just offering an arm of support or or even if it's just being like you know do you want to just go for a walk and it's not even saying anything it can just be going to do something um, and and yeah so bringing that back to my situation now with with Fran and, and Bertie at home, um, like anything, we were we were sort of getting on each other's nerves a little bit um, because we were trying to be the best parents that we could, um, and our solution to that was obviously trying to help each other and, and and be the best that we could. And sometimes it's about stepping back from that. And so for us, um, we we talked a lot about what we need from each other, and at times it was actually space um we're fortunate enough that as you can see behind me we've got a tv in our bedroom here um and that provided a great opportunity to to when we do need a little bit of space um and and you wanted to relax or something like that we could we could separate ourselves a little bit in the house and we could we could have that little bit of time away um, and for us that gave us the opportunity to do that and that only came from from talking and asking the question um and so within our environment that really really did help us um Obviously, everybody's going through their own own stuff at home. Um, everyone has got their own opinions and, and, and bits and pieces like that. Um, but for us, that was what worked for us. We communicated, we spoke about it. Um, it wasn't the easiest thing to hear that someone that you love, that you want to cuddle on the sofa and you want to watch TV, that they just sort of say, just give me a bit of space, give me a bit of time. Um, but that's coming from a place of love. That's not because they don't want to be with you. It's because they're forced to be with you for, for weeks on end. Um, and that's and that's how I saw it anyway with, with my wife and I. Um, and, and the only other thing that I took from my rugby into the situation that we have now um, was about performance um, and what was best for me mentally. And something that we used there was something around switch on, switch off. Um, and so everyone's got their own experience, but for us and Bertie, he's in a fantastic routine at the moment where you know, he'll, he'll play and he'll do all this sort of stuff and then he'll get to about one o'clock, 1.30, and then he'll be, you know, he'll be ready to go down for a nap. Um, and Fran and I spoke about using our time to, to be the best team that we could. Um, and it was a case of it wasn't that when he was napping, we would run around like crazy people and, and catch up on all those things that we hadn't been able to do while we were looking after him. Um, obviously balancing my work, Fran's work and stuff like that. It was more a case of right in that time when he goes down for a nap, we would all rest. We wouldn't nap, but we would all rest and we would recharge, whether it would be you read a book or you watch TV or you sat in the garden or whatever it is, obviously not if it's raining or anything like that. Um, but we, we took that opportunity to, to relax and, um, and just recharge the battery so that we could be the best team possible. Um, yeah, and so that brings me on to my final and last slide there, connection and support. Um, these are really difficult times um, and it's okay to not be okay. Um, I've had my fair share of struggles and, and my, my ability to get motivated to, to even do training, which is my job, something that I love doing. Um, and so I dread to think what people at home, what your, what your stresses are and, and, you know, and what's getting to you. But, but please do feel free to comment on this video. Um, if there's things that I can help out with other videos, uh, please do let us know. Um, and I'd love to be able to talk about things that have affected me and how I've got through it. But also I'd love to know what's affecting you guys because then hopefully if I have any experiences, we can just talk about it. We can, we can get it out there and we can help each other out. Connection and support is massive at this time. 
whether what team you're in, whether you're in a team of uh, you know, 50 virtual people working from home or whether you're a key worker and you're going out there or whatever it is, um, connection and support is, is massive. If you have that opportunity to, to connect with people and, and talk and ask a question or even just you know, help each other out, please do so. Um, I'd, I'd love to be part of, uh, part of a solution um, and I'd love you to communicate with me um, and just, you know, we're, we're here for each other. We're human beings, we're individual. We have our own positives, negatives, and our own stresses and stuff like that that we're going through at the moment. Um, but, but please do um, get in touch and hopefully you found this video useful. Talking about teams, um, I could talk for England, I, I enjoy it. Um, and if there's anything you'd like me to talk more on, uh, please do let us know. Um, I really appreciate you watching. Hopefully you found it useful um, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all again soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.